and I want to say this man is probably in his late 30s or early 40s give or take and I look at him and I say what would you like to drink and he says I would like a What's up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, no, you do. Hey, you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I'm going to be talking about my racist experiences in Germany. I have been posting a whole bunch of videos talking about racial identity and racism, and a bunch of comments have been asking me to talk about my racist experiences in Germany. I've never talked about them publicly. Um, I have a few, but I feel like I have two very important ones that shape my views or have shaped my views on what German racism is or racism in Germany is, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm probably not going to be talking about racial identity or racism for a very long time on my channel probably a year plus so you might as well soak up this video because it's going to be the last one or you're not going to hear about this topic for a long time on my channel so yeah with all that being said don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so i guess we can get right into it you guys i'm going to start chronologically and so when i first got to germany when i barely spoke the language really didn't have any grasp of german just culture knowledge language everything i was working for these people and they invited their friends over for a barbecue or lunch i have no idea but i remember it was like a whole bunch of people coming for like let's say a spring summer barbecue i remember the lady that i worked for she asked me to ask everyone what they wanted to drink and so while i'm going around the table um everyone's just telling me like wine water some people said like spitzi and i didn't know what spitzi was at the time so i'm just like huh what and so then i get to this man and i want to say this man is probably in his late 30s or early 40s give or take and i look at him and i say what would you like to drink and he says i would like a if you guys did not know for me the word i don't care what you german people call it for me it is a very offensive word and how this man said it and what he explained it to me as was very offensive but to describe the word and what he was meaning in the form of a drink i think when you mix coke and dark beer i could be wrong um that is what means everyone was like really shocked that this man said it i think he was trying to like i don't know tell a joke or be funny and it just like went over the room so the lady i work for she was like awkward because a it's her good friend and she didn't want to like yell at him i don't think so and i remember that this lady she was really trying to be really good friends with these people so she didn't want to like piss them off or anything so she's just like ha ah, man sucks so vast and for me it just was too much happening at once and like information overload saturation so i couldn't really say anything to him and also I was these people's basically worker bees. So what do I look like telling the people that are very higher up München schicky Mickey people? And that sounds so horrible to say, but seriously, um, that's what they were. And I just didn't say anything. I like turned around, got him his drink, and then I came back and then he kept going on about how they have in Germany the same word as like and that they have coos and they have this this that and everyone's at the table like listening and not really saying anything just like letting it happen thinking that he's giving me like this amazing german cultural history lesson but in reality it's just making me feel awkward and he was laughing about it he thought it was hilarious i don't know if he thought it was hilarious that he could openly be racist and i couldn't say anything about it or if he could openly be ignorant and say something that he thought was funny i have no idea but i had to continuously meet these people over the course of I want to say six or seven months and every time I felt so violated if I ever saw these people ever out again in my life I would say something to them they probably would not remember who I was they probably would not care who I was but I would honestly openly say to them you guys really were a detriment to my germany experience and made me you know have my first racist experience in germany be with you guys but like I said, I felt so just, 
I don't even know how to explain it. Like when someone violates you, when someone does something to you and you feel helpless, like there's nothing that you can say, no one's helping you, no one's, you know, standing in your corner, no one's got your back and you're just like helpless. And he would say like very um, aggressive, for me they were very passive aggressive things that really did not line up with just anything that I knew about Germany then, you know, progressing six months living in Germany, I never experienced someone that was so persistent and trying to make me feel like lesser than or trying to make me understand that they were um, better than me. He would constantly say things like, he would constantly say things like, oh, do you eat this in America? Are you Afro-Americanish? I would drink a certain drink and he'd say, oh, um, very Ethn, ethn, ex, exalt, exalt, exaltish, exaltish. And they had a white nanny. And the white nanny drank the same stuff as I did, but they would never say that stuff, or he would never say that stuff to her. So it was just always an awkward situation. And granted, luckily for me, I stopped working with that family, so I never had to see those people again. But it was just a horrible situation that stayed with me for like, a very long time until I got over it and that word that's why everyone asks me all the time why I don't like the word because a lot of people will try to justify someone saying it and for me it's not a word that is inclusive it's not a word that is representative of all black people for me it's a word that is very pretentious that tries to make someone um, better than and superior and make someone else inferior to them that's how i have um experienced it that's how i've witnessed it firsthand being used and that's why i don't like the word it's the same as in the united states so the next one happened around the same time give or take because i was on my way to an a1 or a2 german course so i remember that my german wasn't the best and if you know anything about munich at Karlsplatz stackos there is a galleria kaufhof and at the bottom there is a bakery that is a attached to Galleria. I don't know if they're attached together and they belong to one another, but there's a bakery down there basically. And this was my favorite bakery because they had the best Americana and I used to treat myself every time that I had a language course to buy myself one of those Americana in the morning and just eat it at my language course because for me it was a treat. I only had a language course I think Tuesday and Thursday so I had an Americana Tuesday and Thursday. It was like my little routine that I had. So the lady at the bakery knew me. Um, she saw me often. Seriously I want to say for like three months she saw me every Tuesday and Thursday buying the same thing she would even get it packaged ready for me and just hand it to me and I had the exact change like we knew each other so I remember on this particular day the line was relatively long and everybody was ordering an Americana and I was like oh scheisse oh my gosh everyone's going to eat my Americana but I remember the lady that was in the front of the line she didn't order one so there were two left and the lady in front of me ordered one so there was one left for me but the lady in front of me she decided that she wanted to order every single piece of bread stuck of bread brotchen simmel weg whatever you want to call it she wanted to order every piece of wheat <laughs> in this damn bakery so the bakery lady baker she had to go in the back and like get a big bag and package all this lady's bread and stuff and i was just standing there at the tiki looking at my precious delicious americana you guys probably think that i'm crazy there are many things that i do not care about but one of those is not food i love food with a passion so as i'm standing there patiently waiting for my americana and for this lady to come back this middle-aged woman with her mother they just walk right in front of me like literally <laughs> like y'all I can't like I can't even make it up like I'm just standing there looking at the glass looking at the Americana and then all I see is just someone move in my way my view path between me the Americana then comes a German middle-aged woman just standing right here it was just so awkward like i felt like i was getting pranked i thought she was gonna turn around and be like ha 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 um but no so then the bakery lady came from behind the back she let the lady pay and then she came over and she was speaking to me like behind the woman she's like hi hello she was very kind and the lady in front of me she was like well i was here first i don't know what she said but she said it basically in german she said she was in a rush she said something along those lines and the bakery lady was like yeah but she's next I know that she was next. She's been waiting in line this whole time. And the lady said, well, you don't know that. You were in the back. She says, I saw her here waiting 
and I know that she's next and she's like well I just want that Americana and the lady the baker lady she was like well no I am going to give the Americana to her because I know that's what she wants so then the lady and the bakery lady were just arguing back and forth so I step in and I'm like well um I'm just letting you know that you skipped me I was here I was waiting like I don't understand how you didn't see me I'm a person like 100 what is it 175 centimeters 176 centimeters it's not like i'm really short and you just like walked past me i'm a big old person and she was just like halt die schnauze and i was like and so the bakery lady was just standing there astonished that this woman said this to me and she was like so upset i could see it on her face that she was so upset and so then i just look at her and i said excuse me and she said yeah i don't speak english and i said okay well i do speak english and i'm telling you now that i'm going to order something and since you insulted me um i'm not going to be nice now and she was like no 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 so then her mom i guess was just really older like 80 years old and i could tell that her mother was very very stressed by the situation because it really escalated for no reason at all and she was like apologizing to me for her daughter and her daughter's like nein mama ich lass mich nicht von einem oder eine ausländerin blah 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 whatever she said all i heard was an Ausländerin and the bakery lady like I don't know what she did but she was like <gasps> like <laughs> she, she was shocked by the situation but before she could say something because she wanted to say something to her I said well this Ausländerin with her Faust can hit you in your Gesicht and then her mom was looking at me and she was like no no fighting and I said then you need to tell your daughter to leave me alone I said I'm not gonna ask nicely next time and so they left literally left the lady was yelling at me while she was leaving saying something slick underneath her breath but after all was said and done she left and that was it and the bakery lady she was like I am so sorry she literally gave me my Americana for free because she felt so bad and she I remember the next time I came she gave it to me for free too and I was like I don't want a free Americana I'm like thank you for sticking up for me and thank you for not letting that lady go in front of me and she was just like I am so sorry that should never happen and she was like apologizing and just so like taken aback she was more stressed out about the situation than I was but that was basically everything that happened those are the two most impactful um, events that happened in my life regarding racism in Germany. I've had other little things happen to me but I feel like those two are the ones that really stuck with me and like I said they made me realize that there are two very different types of racism in Germany. There is the racism like the lady at the bakery where it's very in your face, it's very loud, it's um, very ignorant, it's very you know not scared and very confrontational and does not care if they hurt you or whatnot. But I've noticed and I've learned that there's also racism like the man <laughs> that I encountered when I first got to Germany as well. The man that was very pretentious, the man that was, you know, had a higher class, a social class than me, and he used just certain words and things to say to me to make me feel like I was lesser or to make me feel like I was inferior. And I do have to say that all of my experiences that I have made in Germany, most of them have been leaning more towards the man that is very pretentious. And it doesn't even have to be about race, it can be about anything. A lot of times I do feel like the issues that I have with German people, they sometimes try to make me feel inferior. I have realized now though over the years that it is better for me to speak up when someone makes me feel this way. If someone says something that makes me feel inadequate or makes me feel awkward I will usually ask what they mean by that or I'll ask them to please not say that around me I might call them out and say that's very racist or that's very hurtful and usually I can um, de-escalate or the situation is fizzed out or they apologize or they don't know or they learn something that's 99.9% .9 of the time when I have instances like this and that's what I've learned over all the years in Germany and I know this is not the whole representation of Germany 
because like I said, I've come into contact with probably 0.001% um, racist people and the rest of the people have been positive and kind and understanding and very lovely people. But one thing that I do know after traveling so much all over the world is that racism will happen anywhere and no matter what. Unfortunately, we do not live in a perfect world and there are going to be ignorant people no matter where you come from. And sometimes ignorant isn't the best way to um, describe it because sometimes people just don't know any better. They're uneducated or um, they've never traveled anywhere else. They've never experienced anything else. If it's not racism, it's going to be sexism. It's going to be genderism. It's going to be ageism, ableism, so many isms that happen all over the world. I just realize now that racism is such an easier or the easy, most accessible um, thing that people can pick on regarding a person. But then moving off of those two experiences, all of the other experiences that I have had in Germany regarding racism, so to say, I've never had anyone call me ever again after those two incidents. I am pretty sure it's never happened. And that's because I started learning the language and when people spoke to me, um, they spoke to me a lot different than when I spoke English. I do have to say that language is such a huge factor in how you are treated in Germany. And as soon as you understand and are able to communicate at a basic level, people treat you a lot differently, which is really horrible to say, um, but it is what it is. It's not right, it's not okay, but I do have to say that my experiences shifted and just how I was treated shifted drastically once I started openly communicating in German. I still had people treat me crappy and say some really dumb, ignorant things, but I've never had someone openly call me or refer to me as an So yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. That's it. I'm gonna go now, go to sleep. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't get too offended by this video. It's not meant to offend anyone. It's just to tell a story. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all and bye-bye.